Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jarrell here, holding it down for Jarrell Fitness. What's good with everybody, man? Check it out. I ain't gonna hold too much of y'all time, man. I want y'all to be able to get back to y'all daily um, life activities, right? But anyway, this is a video I'm gonna talk about a little bit of cardio. I, I did a video when I was doing my damn arm workout, and I got a lot of little negative comments from a few guys. You know, motherfuckers trying to be funny. You know, so I'm gonna get y'all don't fuck around. <laughs> That's all good, man. I ain't no sensitive motherfucker, man. But anyway, I like all type of criticism. But I appreciate the people that showing your boy love. But anyway, had a few guys, they was like, man, dog, you need to do some cardio, man. Try to get your body fat percentage down a little lower, lower so your muscles can show a little better. And I agree with that, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of half-assing with my cardio. So when I did that video, it kind of pointed it out to me. Like, damn, you know what? I need to kind of cut up a little bit more. Because I was mainly depending on my diet to help me lose the fat. But you have to make sure that you incorporate a lot of cardio also into the mix with the diet shit too. So if you want to lose, you know, the weight, you know, at a nice rate or whatever like that. So anyway, man, I came to talk about some high intensity cardio. Now I've just added this type of cardio into my whole program, right? For you guys that don't know, high intensity will hit cardio. Um, it, it's, it, it means some high intensity interval training. I like to do this type of training on a treadmill, okay? You can do this two different ways. You can do it various different ways, but I only do it two different ways from time to time. Now, I don't do hit cardio on days that I do weight training on the same day. I just do my usual cardio on those days. I wake up in the morning on an empty stomach, jump on a treadmill, put it at like level four or five, get a nice little um, power walk, brisk walk, and I'll do that for like 15 minutes just to wake me up in the morning to get my metabolism going, you know, to start trying to burn some of that fat and then I'll go ahead and go to work. Okay, that's on the days that I'm going to be weight training mo most likely when I get off. So anyway, on the days that I'm not, you know, going to do weight training, um, I'll either do my hit cardio in the morning before I go to work or I'll do it when I do get off of work. So the only problem with doing this shit before you go to work, if you're on the damn treadmill, <laughs> and your heart beating and shit, and then you, oh man, oh man, and you put your damn work uniform on, you take your ass to work, you're going to feel probably like shit. But I do that sometimes, man, because that's just how bad I want it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do that all the time. I usually do the hit cardio sometime when I get off. But anyway, this is how I do it. This is the first way I do it. I get on the treadmill, okay? I go to like level four, okay? Start off with a nice warm up. Okay, I'll do that for like five minutes. Do a nice brisk walk just to get the blood flowing. Then when I get to the five minute marker, I usually have like a little stopwatch or something like that. Because sometimes you'll get thrown off. So I suggest getting a stopwatch if you can get one or you got one on your iPhone, like a little app or something. Because sometimes when you're looking at the display on a treadmill, you kind of get thrown off as far as the timing. Okay, because we're going to be going 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So this is how it goes. When I hit the five minute marker, after the warm up, I'll go ahead and put the treadmill all the way up to level eight. And then I'll just start running. You know, you're doing a sprint, your heart's beating fast. Your heart rate should be somewhere in between 160 and 170, okay? If you got a heart rate monitor um, with monitors your heart rate, make sure you keep an eye on that. If not, it really doesn't fucking matter. Just you're sprinting, you're running at level eight. So your heart's beating. Okay, do that for 30 seconds, and then I'll, I'll immediately press number four on the treadmill, and then I'll just slowly go into a jog, into a power walk, and I'll just power walk for 30 seconds. I'm actually getting my rest. That's the whole purpose of high intensity interval training. You're doing things in intervals, okay? So you're doing 30 seconds um, low intensity, 30 seconds high intensity. So you're just steady mixing it up. So you're really giving your body a chance to burn a lot of fat, okay? So just do this back and forth, 30 seconds at level four, 30 seconds sprinting at level eight. And I usually do that for an additional 15 minutes after I did the five minute warm up. Okay, and the second way you can do it is, you can do your intervals a little longer. You can mix it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll just go ahead, get on the treadmill, do a five minute warm up, five minute marker. I'll just go ahead and sprint at level eight for 60 whole seconds. That's one minute. Just sprint for 60 fucking seconds. Then after that, 60 seconds up, I'll just throw my feet on the side rails and just let the treadmill just spin for 60 seconds. In the meanwhile, I'm just getting my rest. I'm getting myself prepared for the whole next cycle, okay? And then after that, jump your feet right back on, 
run for 60 seconds and then just do that back and forth and do that for about 15 to 20 minutes whatever you prefer okay but I would suggest that you try to burn at least 300 calories in each one of these different scenarios so whenever you do high intensity cardio try to burn those calories man so that's what I've been pretty much doing um, I hope it works out well for me I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my mix and I've been doing it already and I've already been seeing results I'm dropping weight um, I probably went down like two pounds or so so it works real well I like it so I'm gonna let you guys know my progress in the next few weeks you know see if I got like a little bit more leaner you know bring some of these muscles out and um, that's pretty much it I just want to share that with you guys real quick make sure y'all rate comment and subscribe and anyway this your boy Jarrell holding down for Jarrell Fitness and I'll holler at y'all later peace